they hear like about boundaries they're just like they're thinking oh it's a way to fix relationships or sometimes also a lot of people have this misconception that boundaries are about cutting people off you know disconnecting and you know yes, having like the- black and white they think it's black and white you're either going to a yes or no relationship you know or it must be a, a relationship that's so tense and like you know abusive I would say that they need boundaries within um that relationships but for me it was more about deepening relationships deepening connection with people mm. so someone might say then Faiza why would you need boundaries because we tend to think of boundaries as walls right why would you use boundaries as a way to deepen a connection um okay so firstly I I didn't look at your course as just a boundaries course I've done things with you before so I know when you put your when you deliver, you deliver, like there is value in your course. So I knew that it's not only going to be about boundaries. I think when we come from our community and our faith, we know that there is no such thing as like, oh, well, there is, you can cut people off, but creating healthy boundaries is just so much more beautiful. Like you get to know yourself, you get to understand yourself and you get to understand those around you so much more deeper like you you see them from different eyes with the healthy boundaries that you learn to create in this course Mm, I love that I love that because you start to see them and also I think sometimes some of us are unknowingly putting up boundaries with other people we're putting up walls and in boundaries evolution we also look at that we look at where maybe we have to break down some of our own resistances in order to better fulfill our rights to other people or give them the opportunity to better fulfill their rights towards us Definitely. Like we, in the course we learn, we get to know ourselves so much more better. We immerse ourselves in it. And then we're not only getting to know ourselves like from this toxic positivity kind of thing that we are, right? We learn our triggers and um, how we can shift that, you know, how we can shift that to create healthy boundaries. Um, And this didn't only help me in like my personal relationships. It helped me, um, professionally as well like you know um, we often don't think that we need boundaries in our professional as a businesswoman but we do and it helped me so much with myself and with those with my clients with um, just how I approached my business as well. I love that you mentioned that because when you think about boundaries in business you think of it from a very harsh aggressive masculine kind of approach of like oh boundaries with my clients means that when they do something wrong like I tell them off or I I make sure like like it's it's again barriers it's walls it's it's being on the offensive or even being on defensive then how would how would having implementing implementing boundaries with your clients be a positive thing how would it positively contribute to your business how would it positively contribute to the way that you deliver your service and take care of your clients So I feel like it allowed me to give them more value. Like they knew where I was coming from and I knew where they were coming from. And I created a space where they got more value from my services. Um, They got me in a more professional space, the way, you know, from simple things, from replying to them, to sending them the terms and conditions, like simple things that you wouldn't think of. It creates more value and in like your professional sort of life. Mm. and it creates trust I think also because there's clear yeah. expectations to me that's what boundaries is about it's about creating like a container within which our relationship can thrive because you and I both have clear expectations of each other and also I have a clear expectation of myself and how I am showing up to the relationship I also know because this is very much how you know you and you can speak to this as well if you like you'd like to face her but in the course in, in the program you also learn how to navigate situations where someone doesn't respect and doesn't honor your boundaries. You learn how to navigate your own triggers and emotions through that so that you don't throw your toys out the cot and behave out of integrity either. And that's very important on a professional level. Yeah, we often think that when we do this inner work that a magic wand is uh, placed over us and we never have to go through conflict and we never have to go through any sort of um, you know, disagreements or anything like that. But the beautiful thing about it is that you learn to navigate your conflicts from a place of integrity, from a place of value, of your own values. Um, You get to align so deeply to your own values that like 
you get to create those healthy boundaries then.